Hey guys, welcome to the second part of the Job Finds UI chapter uh, section. Uh, we're just going to add some styles to make this look a little better. All right, so the main style I want to add now is the container, which is going to make it uh, thinner and also give it a white background and some other styles. So let's do that. Uh, in the layout section, I'm going to go. I'm going to go right under body. Okay, and we want to say container. All right, so container. First of all, let's add a background of white. And um, I want to say overflow hidden. And I'm going to give it a minimum height of 300 pixels. And then I'm going to give it a max width of 960 pixels. And by the way, this, this um, template and this application is going to be uh, responsive and mobile friendly as well. So let's save that. And that gives us our basic uh, background. All right, so I want to I want this add job to float to the right. So let's go to the HTML. And kickstart has a, a predefined class to float and it's just right or left. So we're we're at the six column that's that's containing the add job button I'm just gonna add the class right and that should move it over for us okay um, I want to give it a little margin on top push it down a little bit so let's see button class I'm gonna give the form an, an ID of we'll say add job link and then we can push that down. Let's go down to the bottom here. Okay, so margin top 20 pixels. All right. Um, let's make this title uh, a link. So in our HTML. index.html and that should change the color of the span um, shoot you know what I don't want a span I want it to be wrapped in strong to make it bold the job text so let's change this to strong Okay. Okay. So now, all right. So, so now it makes the job text bla uh, black. I don't want this underlined, so I'm gonna do an override in our style sheet. So in the override section, let's just put in a link, an a tag, and say text decoration none. Okay. So that looks a lot better. All right, so headings good, nav bars good. Now let's do the search area. So in our CSS, let's go down. And it has a, an ID of search area. All right, and the search area is gonna have a background of light gray. And I'm going to set the overflow to auto. Um, it's going to have a minimum height of 100 pixels. And we need some padding. We'll do 30 on the top. Whoop. 30. Right bottom. And then 20 on the left. All right. Okay, so that gives us our background. Um, next, let's 
deal with these inputs. Uh, I want these bigger and wider and just more prominent. Okay, so we'll do keywords, which is the, the keyword input box. Uh, we'll do a width of 320 and a height of 40. Padding, we'll do four. And then give it a margin right of 10 pixels. All right, so next I want to do the selects. Uh, so they should have IDs. So we have category, select, and also state select. All right, and we're going to give them the same height as the input. Um, width, we'll say 200, and same padding. And I want to give them borders, um, one pixel solid and gray. And then change the border radius to uh, five pixels. And I'm going to give it a box shadow like the text areas. Okay, box shadow inset zero one six and then gray. And then we'll do margin right ten pixels and margin left ten pixels. Alright, so let's see what that looks like. Did I make a mistake here? Box shadow all right so that looks pretty good uh, I think I have a little too much margin here it's pushing this too far over so let's see the select areas will say margin right 7 and margin left 7 all right that looks much better all right so that's the search area next we have our main listing area so let's go the the list has an ID of listings all right and we'll say overflow auto um, I want to put a border on the bottom of each list item that'll be one pixel gray um, and we'll do dotted and then just some padding. Okay, padding, we got 10 pixels, 0, 10, 0. All right, save that. Okay, I don't see the border. Well, oh. We need listings li. All right. So what, now what we want to do is the type. We want this to have like a background, and we want it to float to the left. So let's. It's got a class of type. And let's see, we'll float left um, with. 15%. We want to use percents because this is going to be a responsive template. Margin top will be 30 pixels. And then let's do the type span. Um, you can see that we have div class type and then a span um, with the class of green. So basically green for full time and then we have blue for part time. All right, so we'll say type span uh, padding. I'm gonna do 10 on the top and bottom and 20 on each side. All right, and then the color of the text I want to be white. And then uh, for now. I'm going to make green the, the default background. Um, eight, 
1B 800. And then we can have the colors as well. So type span uh, dot green. And that'll have the same color, but I also want to add a blue. Okay, blue. So be 4C9 um, EF1. All right, so that's the type. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, I don't want these bullets here, so let's go back to the list item. And we want to say list style none. All right, now the description, which is the text to the right. Okay, description, we want to float right and give it a width of 85%. Okay, so that looks really good. Uh, part time should have a blue box. We get blue here. Oh, span class blue. So we need to. I need to just push this over. There we go. All right, so next, uh, the footer, I just want to align that to the center. So we'll say footer, give it a little padding. Um, let's see, padding 30, 0, 30, 0. And then let's just align it to the center. Okay. All right, so that's really it for the CSS. Um, we have our index page complete, the HTML is complete. We have our CSS complete. Now we just want to create. Um, the rest of our inner pages. And you don't have to do this. Um, you could just get the, the code from the program files if you don't want to deal with HTML and CSS because obviously this is a PHP um, course. But you know I like to make things look good uh, as well, not just, not just have the functionality but have the look as well. So in the next um, part of this section, we will be adding the uh, the inner pages.